Hey guys, sorry this video is going to be low quality, but um, I just got home while I was gone all weekend. Uh, pretty much one last party with my friend before he went off to Pittsburgh. He's going there for a uh, journalism internship. And uh, it was just, just kind of hard on us. We've all been friends for a really long time, like six years. So uh, it was just kind of something that was hard to get used to. But um, or at least it's going to be really hard to get used to. I just got home a couple hours ago. I just fell asleep. I just woke up at uh, 12 o'clock, which is really cool. But um, the movie I'm going to review this week is uh, it's a, another film release. It's called uh, Hunting Creatures. And I'm going to do a text review for my website soon. But it was a shot on VHS camcorder uh, German splatter film. And in all honesty, the movie itself. It's fun. It's really fun. But it's dumb as shit. It, it really is. The movie is about these German gangsters that throw a techno party in an abandoned chemical factory. And there's a reason why they do it there, but I don't want to spoil anything. But anyway, there's a boiler full of this liquid that gets in the sprinkler system and starts leaking down. And everyone in the party, party turns into these... Uh, they're pretty much zombies, but they call them creatures in the movie. And the only thing is, they have, like, the sharp, like, jagged teeth, like, uh, in Argento, or, um, Baba's Demons. Oh, I, can't, I always think that's an Argento movie for some reason. But just like in Baba's Demons, they have the exact same, like, tooth structure as, uh, the demons do in that movie. But, uh, they just start slowly taking over... Um, same rules of zombies, you know, once you get bit, you spread the infection, and, uh, somehow the chemical gets, I can't remember how, I don't even know if it explains how, but somehow it gets in the water supply, and, of course, by then, the whole town is, uh, turning into these creatures, but the movie's, like I said, it's, it's awesome, like, it's got some decent gore, but it is dumb as shit, there's a part where it tries to be so badass whenever it's not, there's a part where he uh, calls his friend and he says, bring all the weapons that you have. And he brings two pistols and a really cheap-ass looking uh, replica katana. Just stuff like that. And there's like, for every scene of action in this movie, there's always three different times that it will rewind itself. It's like, you'll see the action go through this angle, then you'll see the exact same scene we played this angle, and then the exact same scene we played this angle. Um... Like I said, the gore is pretty good. It's got it's it's really amateur. It the transfer is as good as you can expect, but it honestly the transfer kind of looks like this minus the the lag. But as far as picture quality, it has this noise to it, which I really like the noise. But the reason I'm doing this is just to make sure this thing uploads because my videos have for some reason not been uploading on this channel whenever I do it in uh, standard quality. But uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen. Um, Hunting Creatures, I recommend that you see it. Uh, actually, the guy who's handling Unearth's PR asked me to do a review for this because he said they don't sell that many copies of it. And there's a couple of other films that I've seen that I really don't like. Um, probably the worst one is Das Coma Brutal Duel. I cannot stand that one. It's so horrible. Um, I've tried watching it in its entirety about five times, and I still still can't make, make my way through it. It's too hard, too grueling. This one, the, the blood, actually, there's a couple of scenes where it doesn't look like blood. It looks kind of brown, but for the majority of this movie, it actually does look really, really good. Um, for German splatter's sake. I mean, this, I mean, this isn't like KMB effects. I mean, don't think that you're getting that. You're not even getting Olaf Eatenbach style German splatter. You're getting Andreas Schnoss at best, but, um, and I wouldn't even go that far. You're getting like maybe like Timo Rose, but uh, this one's really kind of like a labor of love for people that like German splatter. Uh, it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, really cheap, really generic, really forgettable. But it's just kind of one of those things. It's kind of like whenever you start watching the Friday Thirteenth movies past part four. It's like every one of them that you watch, it's kind of like. You're only watching it because it's a Friday the 13th movie. If you watch this, it adds nothing new to the ger uh, German spider genre. 
you're just watching because it's a German splatter film. And if you like German splatter, I can't recommend it enough because you know what you're getting yourself into. You know how shitty it's going to be uh, in like a good way. But if you don't like German splatter, if you don't like, like if you don't like the stuff like Burning Moon and um, Pumoto Sword of the Living Dead, then you're absolutely going to hate this one. If you like stuff like violent shit, you might enjoy it. Um, you probably will enjoy it. But if you like the really cheap stuff like Das Kama Brutal Duel, you've got to see this one because you owe it to yourself to see something better than Das Kama Brutal Duel. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I... I recommend it. wasn't like I said, wasn't the best one. It added nothing new. The there weren't many moments where it bored me. Um, that was it, it's just ridiculous and it was an absurd movie. But uh, it, it's like I said, like nothing in the movie makes sense. Like the scientist guy is this like redheaded guy with like three and four earrings per ear. And uh, oh, let me I'm not, not going to spoil much because the movie's so dumb you have to see it to understand. But there's this one scene in it where the scientist know the effects of this chemical and they stored it in this factory and they hear that someone broke into it and they go down there to the factory to actually see it and they come down there with no guns or anything and a couple of the thugs that are still pissed about what happened they're going down there trying to see if there's any survivors and they both meet up with each other and they just like the thugs just open fire on the scientists and it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen and like if you know that the chemical is um, capable of creating zombies why in God's name do you not have guns but, yeah, like I said, just go into it and know what to expect. If you like German Spider, check it out. If not, like, I mean, I'm not even saying, like, independent stuff. This is for hardcore German Spider fans only. This isn't even for people who like Fetus and uh, August Underground and stuff like that. This literally is German Spider exclusive fan club.